The notorious Pruitt Igo project is now one third down. The rest of it should be leveled by the end of this year. We talked about the project, the final demolition stage with Tom Costello, head of the St. Louis Housing Authority. The contractor is moving ahead with the uh, complete demolition of the entire project. I assume he's also got to remove all this debris, a lot of it. That's right. That's part of the contract, and he has to have the ground completely leveled in a park-like area. So when you get a park-like area, what are you going to do with it, make a park? I don't know. That's a good question, and it hasn't been resolved yet. Uh, I, I hope, I would hope that there'd be a lot of discussion on this at the community level, is what is the best use of this land. It'll be 57 acres. It's in a fairly good location, I, I would think, and perhaps if we use our heads, we could develop it for better use than we did in the past. Mm -hmm. No longer will sociologists be able to come through St. Louis and say there's the worst housing project in the nation, right? Uh, that's right, and yet that's a positive thing. I think for once and for all, we ought to get rid of it. Uh, it's been an eyesore and a cancer to the city, and I think in that respect, it's positive that we are getting rid of the, of the problem. Tom, you studied it and thought about it in a long time. Just briefly, what went wrong? Why didn't it work? Chris, that's always tough to, to make it oversimplified. The easiest answer I can come up with is housing by itself and of itself does not solve all the social problems of our community. And I think that's the one lesson I've learned out of this.